now we need to start with the java codes so i'll just get into the main activity and we'll start by defining the string variables which are going to hold the value of the state which was selected from the spinner as well as the name of the district then i will define the text view because we cannot set the error messages in the spinner so we will use the text view instead to display the error and uh, to use the text view we'll have to import text view class so i'll just click here and it will import all right as you can see we are going to use the text view for displaying the error then let us define the spinner and we are going to define two spinners one for the state and one for the district then let me define the array adapter now this array adapter is an android sdk class for like adapting an array of objects as a data source which means this adapter will be the data source which we are going to use with the spinner to populate it to fill up the list of the items so we are going to need two adapters one for the state and one for the district and we'll just declare it here we are not going to define it and let me just quickly import the respective classes all right now let's try to run our app so far everything is looking good now we can start with the initialization of the spinner first of all we have to get the view of the spinner so we are going to use find view by id and the state spinner we have already defined so we are just going to use the view and make sure you use the correct id that you have defined with the spinner here i have used spinner underscore indian underscore states so i'm using the same id then let's populate the state spinner because in any case the spinner of the state is going to have a fixed data set that the um, that is the data that we are going to use with the state spinner will not change so we can just define it so we'll use the state adapter and then let's type array adapter dot create from resource this then comma r dot array dot array underscore indian underscore states comma r dot layout dot spinner underscore layout we will have to define the array as well as the layout for this adapter so so let's first define the array so get into the folder values under this you will find one strings.xml resource file here you will have to define a string hyphen array then give it the name array underscore indian underscore states i'm just going to copy paste the names of the states since i have already written it and you can also download the same 
from the link which is in the description of this video. All right. Now we'll have to define the layout. For that, get into the folder layout and then right click and create new layout resource file. Then you can give it the name spinner underscore layout. All right. Then let's open it and get rid of all these and we'll start with text view and i'll just quickly define one text view so that the same layout is used for the spinner Just save it and restart the app. Uh, still we have not populated the spinner so nothing will be visible. And also let's just increase the size of the text in the text view. For that just get into the activity main.xml. Now let's specify the layout which we are going to use when the list of choices appear. And then we can just simply Populate the spinner using the adapter that is the state adapter. Now restart your app. And you can see in the first spinner you can have uh, the list of the states now we have to define the second spinner that is the spinner which corresponds to the district and uh, we have to populate the districts according to the state which was selected in the first spinner so for that we are going to use set on item selected listener Then in bracket new space adapter view and you hit enter and all of these default methods will be created now under the on item selected method we are going to first retrieve the name of the state which was selected in the spinner 